at the airport. Priority check-in was quick. TSA pre-check, I did get randomly selected to check my electronics, but that wasn't bad. So we're a little early for the flight, but we're gonna head to the Centurion Lounge. Josh didn't have much lunch, so we're gonna get a cheesesteak on the way to the lounge. Cheesesteak, cheese fry, and a Pepsi 18.69, including tax. <laughs> Leaving the lounge, heading to the gate. And you're in the middle of nowhere. Just gonna get the car and head to the Luxor. Airport actually doesn't seem too crowded. This is the first ever. Our bags are available before we got the baggage claim. At the rent a car center, we got national. We'll go up, pick our car. Usually, always a uh, fight deciding what car we want to get. All right, we picked the Jeep. See how this is. We're on the fourth floor. I couldn't get a renovated room, they didn't have any available. Okay, we're going to head down to the public house to eat dinner. This is the giant pretzel. It's a big pretzel. Pretzel's really good, it's really soft. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Here's the French dip. Josh got a cheeseburger. They give you this huge bowl for dipping, which is nice. Not one of those tiny little things where you can't fit the sandwich in it. The public house is pretty good. The food costs $85 total. $100 resort credit, so that should take care of it. You should only have to pay for the tip. Service was really good, so was the food. It's Friday morning now. We arrived Thursday night after we ate at Public House. I gamed a little bit, but we mostly just all went to bed. It's early because of the time change. Jen and I are both up. I got up around 4 a.m. at 7 a.m. our time. Plan for today is to go to the apartment tour at 9.30, then check out the Henderson area, maybe drive around Summerlin as well. We're also gonna try to open our bank account today and maybe get the P.O. box. I guess we'll see how it goes. I get some coffee at Starbucks. The one at the Luxor was crowded. This one's not. One grande coffee at Starbucks, 428, including tax. All right, so I'm heading back to the room. Jen really does not like this room. Jen wants me to see about switching rooms. I mean, switching hotels. I'm not gonna be able to switch hotels. I'm on an offer at free play and so forth. I think this is a sunk cost. I think she's willing to uh, pay for another hotel. Um, that was out of room, so I'm gonna see what else is out there. Welcome to the Luxor. This room sucks. I hate it, it smells, it's beat up, and we're trying to move. Don't mind our mess, our luggage and yeah. stuff, but... We got in last night. I mean, it's just, there. what you can't see is the smell. musty stink. <laughs> it's gross. Here's the tub with standing water in it. I just hate this room. Scott will show you the room. Yeah, and then over here, I mean, it's a nice big room. Over here, this couch looks a little uh, suspect to sit on that. So I went down to the front desk, tried to move rooms. It's only like 6.30, so nothing's available. She put a note in my file, told me to call after 9 to try to get a renovated pyramid suite queen room. So hopefully that's okay. Otherwise, we're going to try to move to the tower into a renovated room there. Um, we just want a room that doesn't really smell. I mean, there is an odor. Um, you notice it as soon as you walk in the door. I don't know if it's, it's a combination of, I think, carpet cleaner and must, or I don't know what it is. And but. the shower in the bathroom, it just like, it barely got warm. Then it got super hot and it just like <laughs> comes out and like, and the, the floor in the bathroom is like these multicolored things and it just feels dirty. And the only reason we stayed in this hotel was because our son we wanted to stay in the pyramid. pyramid. And we're not even in a room that has the inclinator. We're only on we're the fourth on the floor. Fourth floor. But if we get so a renovated. Like really if we get a renovated room, it will be up higher. We'll have to use the inclinator, which will be fine. But we could have just but, probably ridden the inclinator. But we could have been. Yes, we could have been at the Ari or Bellagio for pretty much the same, or a little bit more, because I did it offers there as well. Show them the peeling wallpaper. I guess they had a picture there or something. You can see where there's an outline, and then. There's peeling wallpaper here. And then if you look at the furniture, you can see the furniture is all scuffed up everywhere. If you look over here on the uh, coffee table, it's all, all the laminate of the wood is off of it. They have the TV plug electrical tape to the power strip, 
I guess it's too loose or something. Maybe it falls out, but... Yeah, I mean, I've come to Vegas a lot. We've come a lot. I would have to say this is probably the worst room I've ever stayed in. Um, I've stayed at the Flamingo, but <laughs> I'm only staying in renovated go rooms, so that was I'm okay. dreaming of the Flamingo right now. <laughs> yeah. It's the smell more than anything. I, I can't it is. stand it. I mean, the room, and the room just doesn't feel clean. Um, I mean, the beds are okay, but I don't know. Just these chairs and stuff, I wouldn't recommend it, so... Definitely, if you're gonna stay at the Luxor, get a renovated room. It's about 8 a.m. We're gonna head out to the Henderson area. We have our appointment at 9.30 for the apartment. We'll try to maybe find a donut shop or something. Here's the uh, progress on the Raiders Stadium. You get a good view from the Luxor parking deck. We decided to go to Pink Box, which actually turns out to be near our apartment complex. Yeah. Oh my god. Good. Okay, we made the Veritas. This is where we're gonna be staying. We had a tour of the new apartment, walk around the uh, facilities a little bit. I'll have an actual tour of our apartment when we move into it on Tuesday. All right, we just went to the post office, got our P.O. box. I had reserved the P.O. box online, so we just had to basically bring the paperwork, wait in line at the post office, and then he finished off the application, gave us our keys, and now we have our P.O. box. Now we're gonna head to the bank and get a new bank account. We're at the bank, Wells Fargo, gonna try to open a checking and savings account. We were at Wells Fargo way longer than we thought we were gonna be. They were having computer issues, it was really slow, but we opened up our accounts, everything went fine there. Uh, moved some money from PNC Bank. So now we have our bank accounts, and we should be good to go. So Josh has a bunch of Pop, Funko Pop collectibles. He wants to trade in, sell to Brad's Toys. We're at Brad's Toys and Collectibles in Henderson. So we brought this whole bag of pops here that he wants to sell. This is ridiculous. Dad <laughs> only wanted a couple of Josh's pops and Josh wasn't happy with the offer. So we decided not to sell any. He'll try to sell them on eBay. So we stopped by Town Square now to try to find something to eat. Since everybody's hungry, we just had those donuts earlier this morning. Here we picked California Pizza Kitchen since it's right here. We just wanted something quick and close to where we were. Then got the mushroom pepperoni sausage with only mushroom. I got the pepperoni. Josh got the pepperoni mushroom with and sausage, but with no pepperoni. Lunch was $49.49. California Pizza Kitchen was okay. I mean, the pizza was okay, salad was eh, but it wasn't bad. In line to check on the room change, check on the room. It took a little while, she went in the back to see if she can do it, and we got a really renovated pyramid suite room on the 29th floor. So we're gonna check that out. She said it's a nice room. Hopefully it's just, doesn't smell. So this room is way better. I mean, it is bigger and you could tell it's newly renovated. And we're on the 29th floor now. I will have a full room review and walk through separately. Here's a problem with this bathroom. It looks like when they renovated, it, they made the counter shorter, because I think the other bathroom had two sinks maybe, but it's definitely shorter. So you see where the toilet paper roll is, and Josh, why don't you try to use the toilet paper? So <laughs> if you're shorter than him even, and then you can't get it off. You yeah. Stretch again. Chen and Josh wanted to go see Toy Story 4. So they actually took an Uber over to the Orleans movie theater. I had American Express Amex credits on Uber that were expiring at the end of the month. So they just did that rather than me drive them over. Jen just texted that the movie's over and they're heading back. So I'm gonna go down and meet them out in front of the Luxor. I was dying of thirst. I got a water and a little 24 hour shop at the Luxor. Guess how much this bottle of water is? Aquafina, I guess 20 ounce bottle of water. $4.50. So this is the taxi stand at Luxor. There's two people in it right now. These are all the people waiting for Uber and Lyft. There must be 20, 25 people. 
heading over to New York, New York. I go to Shake Shack for dinner. Eating at Shake Shack, again, which sometimes they do, they don't use the pager even though they give them out. They call your name, so you have to stand up there in the mess of people. Why don't they just use the pagers? That's what they're made for. So this was like $43. Including two sodas and a bottle of water. Here's the progress on the walkway over here. Cut that eating where I had to plant Hollywood, the Garrett's popcorn, to get some cheese and caramel popcorn. Here's where they're building the Chick fil A on this strip in front of the Miracle Mile Shops by Pin Up Pizza. Made the Garrett popcorn and the Miracle Mile Shops. That'll do it for episode two. Remember to like, subscribe, and share.